There is no end in sight when it comes to the country's supply shortage, and now it's hitting the North Pole. There is now a Santa shortage across the country. According to HireSanta.com, there are about 15% fewer Santas this year, while demand is 120% over pre-pandemic levels. Despite there being fewer Santas, there are currently more than 1,200 Santa Claus jobs open across the country and more than 2,000 hourly jobs available. Joining me now is Head Elf at HireSanta.com, Mitch Allen. It is so great to see a little holiday spirit. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. So you are a representative of Santa. We just want to make that clear. And there is a big shortage of Santa representatives. What's causing this Santa shortage? That's right. I'm, the, I'm here, the head elf. And yes, absolutely. There's a couple of different reasons. One is increased demand. As you said, we're experiencing over a 100% increase in the number of people who want Santa to come to their home, office, or event, uh, as well as there are just a number of Santas that unfortunately uh, had COVID-related issues. And as you can imagine, Santa Claus entertainers are in a demographic that's at a high risk for a negative outcome if they do get COVID. And we have a number of Santas this year who are saying that they're going to sit out yet another season. So for all those reasons, increased demand, uh, uh, less supply, we have a Santa shortage this year. Yeah, like much of the supply chain issues. And, and you do bring up a good point. I mean, the weight and the age are two of the, the great things that make Santa Santa, but they're at such a disadvantage when it comes to the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. And our shortage just isn't with Santa's. We're also uh, have a shortage of Mrs. Claus's, elves, other entertainers, just like other retailers are trying to get uh, people to come work for them. Uh, we have a shortage of elves too. We actually have many locations that we're wanting some Santa helpers uh, or elves to come and help manage uh, lines at a variety of events. And we're just not able to fill those. And as for uh, hourly events, we're already sold out the first and second weekends of December. Uh, so we're asking our clients to have some some patience and flexibility about their events. Yeah, and a lot of people are probably really excited because if you think about some of these young kids, they've never had the chance to meet Santa. People who were born uh, during the pandemic or maybe right before the pandemic and don't have a memory of pre-pandemic times. It, it's so true. This year, it's about back to uh, normal things and about uh, traditions. So many people were not able to spend time with their loved ones last Christmas. This year, travel plans are up. We're seeing more holiday events. People are going to be traveling and seeing grandparents or cousins uh, that they hadn't had not seen for a year or two. So these Christmas events are really big and they're wanting Santa Claus to come to their home and offices. And unfortunately, um, you know, we just don't have enough Santas to cover all the events. Uh, we are doing some virtual visits to, to make up some of the slack, but uh, really asking uh, for some patience. Uh, lines might be longer at malls and other retail locations. And how have you adjusted the past couple of years? I mean, last year was such a, a freak year. There was so much fear about COVID and rightfully so. People were meeting Santa six feet apart between plexiglass. Yeah, last year it was all about Santa safety. So we shipped out hundreds of plexiglass shields around the country uh, to have a physical barrier between Santa and the children also were wearing masks. This year the trend uh, is for social distancing. Uh, more than 75% of our clients are doing social distancing. There's not a physical barrier, but Santa will be in his chair and then the children uh, and the families will be in a chair in front or um, in a, on a bench. And so there's social distancing this year. That's really the trend uh, instead of a physical barrier. Very few are uh, having that traditional on the knee Santa. Uh, we're really not seeing that. Uh, there's also a trend for our clients to be asking about uh, vaccinated Santas. Yeah, I can, I can imagine why that would be good. And kids are now eligible, most of them, to be vaccinated. Of course, there's still a lot of hesitancy. Do you think we'll ever go back to having hundreds of kids lining up to sit on Santa's lap? Well, we'll definitely go back, because we're doing it this year, to seeing Santa in person. Uh, we're still doing virtual visits uh, at Hire Santa, but it, the in-person visits, they're back. They're back stronger than ever. Uh, as far as going back to sitting on Santa's knee, uh, that's not really happening this year. Uh, and until we get COVID taken care of, uh, I don't see it coming back. But hopefully next year uh, we'll be past COVID uh, and we'll have those traditional uh, photos. But make no doubt about it. Santa's coming this year. It's going to be a wonderful Christmas. Uh, Christmas presents will be under the tree. Uh, and uh, Santa is out there at retail establishments and malls. Uh, and so children can definitely tell uh, Santa their Christmas hopes and dreams. And there's always the mail too, right? You can always send a letter to the North Pole. 
Absolutely. Writing a, writing a letter to Santa, either dropping it off or sticking in the mail, you can always do that. And virtual visits. You know, virtual visits, we really had an explosion of virtual visits with Santa last year. We're already seeing those um, reemerging this year. Uh, people are reaching out to us to, to do a virtual visit with Santa if they're not comfortable getting out and standing in lines at malls or talking to uh, a Santa in person, they can do it from the safety of their home. Yeah, if kids can do school online and adults can do their work meetings online, Santa can get in on it too. He's modern. Absolutely. Santa's uh, totally versed in uh, uh, in how to do video conferencing at, at well, as well. So we've been talking with Santa uh, through Zoom all along, and uh, you definitely virtual visits a great way if you're not wanting to get your children out um, into crowds to see Santa in person. All right. Well, head elf Mitch Allen, it was great to see you. It was great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate My it. My pleasure, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry early Christmas. Very early Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.